Well, the term negotiation for me has to be defined. And it's defined as an expressed disagreement. Expressed disagreement is part of negotiation. Some people would see that as conflict. And for us, conflict is good because the more things that we discuss that we disagree on, it means the more we're searching for things that we can find common ground. So as a, a young cop many years ago, um, with about three years service, I was on the armed response teams, the SWAT teams. And on one of those operations at a siege, I saw hostage negotiators come along and defuse something without the use of force. And I was impressed at their professionalism, their training and their composure. And at that moment in time, I said, I want to be one of them. Well, it's an important landmark moment because in full view of the world, a terrorist siege was unfolding and the world could see the tactics. And when we eventually found out what they really wanted, what their hidden stake was, I think negotiators recognised that if we listen for what people say they want, very often it's not what they really want. Number one, leadership. Leadership is that you should inspire and motivate other people to achieve higher standards and the end goal and also yourself. The second thing is teamwork. And I think the third thing is humility. The most dangerous time is just when you think you're winning. So it's keeping your, your focus and, and keeping humility to make sure that you, you help people improve their lives. So if we have a good job, it's about recognising the good work that the team has done, but cementing that as good practice, but also where there have been failures. We have to be honest enough for failures to say that type of tactic didn't work, and let's not do that again in these type of circumstances to increase your chances of success, but also to look for support because as negotiators are, are tough and, and keen and enthusiastic, we're also a sensitive bunch. And when we get things wrong and make mistakes, it's good to feel part of that team who are supportive, like I see here at the CCHN, sharing that information, encouraging people to share their stories, even though it's not about a glory story, some, some of it's ugly, and so come and tell people the ugly bits so that they may not go through that same pain that you've gone through. We initially were trained that interpreters should be almost like a voice box where they just repeat their words back and forward and don't become involved in the conversation, don't become involved personally. When you form a relationship with an interpreter, and, and that is good, and the interpreter forms a good relationship with the other party, it just helps the conversation flow. And the Negotiator movie with, with, with Kevin Spacey and Samuel L. Jackson has got lots of moments in it that are just movie, they're just entertainment. But there is an engagement where Kevin Spacey goes up the elevator to, to deal with Samuel L. Jackson and they're pointing guns at close range and that wouldn't happen. But the conversation that they have is really real. And the conversation they have, they start to discuss a movie. They discuss the movie Shane. And in that movie, they discuss that they both have a different, a really different perspective of the ending of that movie and that it's open to interpretation. But what's really going on is they're showing the audience, or Kevin Spacey has been told by Samuel L. Jackson, don't believe everything that you see because there is different perspectives. That's the closest I've seen to an engagement where negotiators are listening for something hidden in the dialogue. <laughs>